yeah, really excited to be back. Um, it was fun, you know, seeing the team out there last weekend and um, kind of getting the feel for a game week and even more excited for it to be a, a real game week now. Even though you treat it the same way, it always is a little bit different of a feel, but really excited and I'm just bringing back some experience. I think this team is full of it at different levels and in various ways. So just kind of adding, adding one more unique perspective back, but just really excited to get back out there with the team. What's the one thing that you thought, I guess, going to the Olympics, now coming back, what's one thing you think you can bring back that necessarily you didn't know before you left? Um, the importance of confidence is obviously one. Um, you know, the Olympics is every, you know, everything that every kid dreams of, every athlete dreams of, but at the same time, it doesn't change you that much as a person. And I think that's something that I've learned, um, just that perspective that, you know, hockey is, is something that we all love to do, but it's not everything. It's not the end-all, be-all. So um, that being said, like, I love to win. I want to win. I want to win all the time. Um, but, you know, just being able to have that, you know, confidence in what you're doing, but also knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, like, we all love each other. It's all going to be okay. How's it been uh, adjusting back to normal-ish life? <laughs> Uh, not hard. I prefer it. Um, <laughs> nothing was that different anyways, but no, it's been nice getting back to that. I was excited for my first day of school. Um, that usually happens. But yeah, I'm just excited to get back and um, it's been fun being back with the team on a daily basis. Just It's just a different feel, you know, um, being in the college environment. So it's really fun. Any of the uh, younger kids look at you differently now? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Probably like think I'm weirder than they thought or something. I don't know. No, um, <laughs> Yeah, they're they're great. Um, it's really fun to get to know them and get to know the sophomores better as well. But yeah, they're they're all really fun. Do you have a chance to? Were you following the team closely uh, while you were away? Yeah, um, I tried to watch like as many games as I could. Um, we had kind of not two different reschedules. We kind of played a similar pattern of games two games a weekend. But just with timing and stuff, I was able to catch a few. And you know, being I lived with Maddie Rooney last year, so I made sure to watch those games and um, the games against Duluth. But yeah, I would try to keep it keep in touch, kind of ask how things are going, you know, see what they like. Just be another sounding board for for some of the players on the team last year, but also just you know watch and be a, a big fan of them. Um, yeah, I think that they just kind of bring an unparalleled experience. Um, all of them training with the national teams last year, and they're just all very skilled players, and they really bring a lot of experience in that sense, and just a lot of leadership qualities that are nice to have back on the team. Yeah, based on. Um, one thing that you've seen that might have changed in either in either Sarah or Kelly that you've seen from before, um, is there anything different about their game from coming back now? Um, from what you've it, been able to see. Right? It's hard to put something specific on it. I think that they're just a lot more poised even than they were before they were here. Just kind of that maturity that they're both bringing back to the team. Just playing, I'll, I'll say going after a team like that, raise their game and want you to raise yours as well? Oh yeah, for sure. I think them playing with um, their national teams brings back experience to our team and pushes all of us to compete at that next level too. I, I know the coach always preached, you know, when you look at rankings at the beginning of the season, you look at more at the end, but I'll say at the beginning of it, is it kind of a nice carrot to look at by going, a lot of people think very highly of us along with Wisconsin and if we stay the course that we can do good things this season? Yeah, I think it's for sure always a compliment to be ranked pretty high, but you just have to go out and prove yourself um, at the beginning of the year and all year long. What is that excitement level like? Just getting that season started, I know you're anxious once you do your workouts and get that first exhibition game under your belt, and now the season has started. Yeah, I think playing that exhibition game is really nice. You get a lot of your nerves out, and um, there's always just so much excitement going into the beginning of the year. So just kind of getting those nerves out in the exhibition game and being ready going forward playing Mercyhurst next weekend is just kind of, it's really exciting. The beginning of the year is always great. Um, I guess for, for me, I think just playing at that level, um, I learned kind of like how to be a three, more of a 360 degree player, like learning both ends of the ice and playing at a much faster speed than here. So I think just bringing back an experience that, um, I mean, Kelly has it, but not a lot of girls have it. So I think it's just cool to share um, what you kind of went through, um, like physically, emotionally, and mentally. Yeah, yeah, um, kind of the same. Playing at that fast of a pace, you definitely uh, learn what works and what doesn't really quickly. And just learning to simplify your game and and use your line mates all the more, it's, it's a really helpful experience. Oh. Being back, or for you being back and for you being here, just how, how is it after uh, just the whole last uh, 12 months for you guys? Yeah, it's been kind of a roller coaster these past 12 months. Um, 
going to Calgary and living together and playing with Team Canada was amazing and getting cut was pretty disappointing but um, we're really excited to be back here and we love playing go for hockey and being with the girls it's like family so um, I'm just really happy being here and excited to get things going. Yeah, yeah. also just really excited to be here. Um, I did come here last semester and for me after getting cut it was kind of nice to come here and meet a new team and all the girls welcomed me in right away and um, just kind of have the distraction and start focusing on schooling and, and go for hockey was um, really, really helpful in the process of getting cut. So kind of having that just being here for that yeah. semester, um, Sarah not being here, how was it for you just to kind of get to know everyone uh, by yourself and not having Sarah here? Uh, it was kind of nice actually. It was a, it was a beneficial in its own way, I think. Um, coming here with Sarah, like it's hard to not just stick with Sarah and people to know me as Sarah's sister, but this way I kind of got to come in and people got to know me as Amy and, and that was helpful, yeah. For, for those who have never seen you play, how would you describe your game? Um, I'm definitely uh, bigger than Sarah. Um, <laughs> I got a little bit more size to me. Um, I would say I'm more of a powerful forward. Um, I focus a lot on my skating and using my size to my advantage. Uh, yes. Sarah, I know we um, talked to you your, not last year, but when you were before about Amy coming in, just being excited to be able to share the ice with her mm -hmm. now that you have the opportunity. To be able to um, really cool. It, it was really fun playing together. Um, I think our styles really complement each other, so, um, and I thought we did really well. So I'm just excited to kind of continue through the year and um, as a team and me and her being together, I'm just excited for what it has in store for us.